Uh, to tell me a little bit about Lincoln Diagnostics. Lincoln Diagnostics got started in 1978. Uh, prior to that, we were the uh, leading manufacturers of smallpox vaccination devices, the Monovac, really? and the TB uh, Monovac system. And our founder, Gary Hine, wanted to uh, take the test hit for the Monovac, and he developed the uh, multi-test CMI test, the cell mediated immunity test. Okay. I remember that. We used to use those. Yes. Whatever happened to those? Uh, the company got bought by uh, Pastor Mary Yu, Kanat mm -hmm. Labs, yeah. and uh, they discontinued the product about 10 years ago. Oh, that's too bad. That yeah, was a great so product. Anyhow, uh, he had an allergist friend and he saw the multi-test CMI, which was looked like this. Mm -hmm. And it was preloaded with the uh, the antigens for for energy testing, and the allergist said, "Hey, this would be a great allergy skin testing device." And so, in 1978, we went to market, introduced the the, the product at, at a college meeting in Las Vegas. Okay. And uh, it got great reviews, and that was the first disposable allergy skin testing device on the market. Wow. And now today, uh, our products are distributed in over 60 countries, and based on a public survey, we're the, the most popular skin test devices in the United States. Okay. So th this is the multi-test device, and, and you can use it to test eight allergens simultaneously. Right. This is a first-generation version. Yeah. This is the second-generation version. This was a manually loaded system. So you'd put it in your... Kind of a little history of yeah. how these things work. Okay. So you would use your applicator and you would just put that on the, you know, the the test head that you wanted it to be on. Okay. And then in 1996, we came out with a self-loading version. So you put the antigens in the well, you've got a built-in guidance system so okay. that you can't put the, the device in backwards and reverse the order of the antigens. And then in uh, 1994, we came out with a one-at-a-time device called a Duotip, okay. where you put the antigens in here, and this is a prick device, and uh, this is used by a lot of uh, university training programs and major clinics uh, throughout the world. 2006, we introduced the uh, Duotip Test 2, which is the second generation, completely sealed system so that when your devices are in the well and your lid is on, it securely puts your devices in Oh, you in can't it. even spill it. Turn it so over. So if you turn it upside yeah. down or you drop it, yeah. your devices and your extracts stay securely in the wells. Wow. Look at the 2009 here. All of our products are manufactured in Decatur, Illinois. And okay, that's, where US, that's near St. Louis, isn't it? Uh, it's about two and a half hours yeah. northeast of St. Louis. Okay. About three hours south of Chicago. Yeah. So, uh, our goal is uh, to provide the best in allergy skin testing diagnostic uh, devices. Wow. And we have distributors uh, all over the world. We're uh, FDA certified, we're CE marked, and uh, we're also we manufacture an ISO 1345 standards. Now, do you recommend that allergists undergo proficiency testing or quality control testing periodically of their skin tests? I agree. Uh, we particip participated in the allergy skin testing workshop for years, uh -huh. and uh, the doctors asked us to develop a proficiency worksheet. Okay. So we have a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that we can send as an email attachment, and you can have your nurses or technicians do a number of positive and negative controls and it calculates the mean wheel size, standard deviation, and the coefficient of variation. Wow. And you can set a standard for your group or practice yeah. as to what's an acceptable coefficient of variation. Mm -hmm. And uh, people who love to measure proficiency, to make sure, you know, this is your primary diagnostic tool. So if you don't have a nurse who's proficient, you're basing your therapeutic plan based off the skin test results. So this ensures that the nurses are testing to a high degree of reproducibility. Wow. So if allergists wanted to get a hold of that, they would you contact your website? or Yeah, uh, you can go to www.lincolndiagnostics.com or you can send me an email at jlinsky, okay. L-E-N-S-K-I, at lincolndiagnostics.com and I'll bounce you back a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and uh, you, you can use it to your heart's delight.
Well, that sounds like a great, a great service. It is. It's also in the, um, the both the academy and the college package of materials for the skin testing workshops. Mm. So, if they've attended the skin test workshop, it's also part of the, the training materials. Yeah. Okay. Well, so Lincoln Diagnostics and Diagnostic Testing, and we need to get that proficiency testing yeah. too. Yeah. We're in the uh, the college buyer's guide. Yeah. So you can always go to the ACAAI buyer's guide and find our. A name, link into our website, okay. or contact us by email. All right. Well, thank you so much, John. Thank you, Dr. It's been great Ford talking Wayne. to you, and thanks for coming to the college meeting. Glad to. All right.